All right, let's graph question 10. So first of all, let's grab some of the, the points here that are significant to us. Uh, first of all, we know that there's going to be a minimum at negative 3 halves, negative 1 24th. So negative 3 halves is like negative 1 and a half, negative 1 24th, that is pretty darn close to the, to the x-axis. I'm just going to put it right there. Okay. Now it, this is going to be, whoops, sorry, this is going to be really, really tight because of the scale here, but that's, that's okay. Um, we're going to have a point of inflection at negative 3, okay, negative 3, uh, 1 27th, which is even closer to the x-axis. Okay, which I'm starting to regret my choice of scale. That's okay. Um, we've also got a vertical asymptote at three halves, which is going to be over here. Positive three halves. Okay, I actually drew that. Not too bad. Looks like it's pretty close to the right spot. And we've got a horizontal asymptote along the x-axis here. Okay. Now. Let's take a quick look at in intervals of increasing and decreasing because this will help make sense of what's going on here. Um, whoops, sorry, I'm pushing it all over the place here. Um, we're going to be, we've got to consider what's happening at negative 3 halves and positive 3 halves. So if we look across the line here, we can see that we are increasing in between those two and then we're decreasing basically everywhere else. Okay, now let's consider our concavity. Uh, concavity changes at negative 3, okay, where that point of inflection is, which makes sense, and at, sorry, whoops, pushing that all over the place here, and at the vertical asymptote here. And then we saw here it's going to be concave down, okay, concave down over here, so looking like this. And then it's going to be concave up in between those two, and concave up over here. So now, what does this look like? Well, okay, it's going to look, it's going to be pretty tight here. Oh, sorry, and we're also going through the origin. Sorry, I forgot about the x-intercept, x and y-intercept. So what's happening here, and this is, is really tight right in here, but the curve comes up, it's concave up in that little interval there, and then at this point right here, it becomes concave down, and it just, you can barely see it here, and I apologize for that, that's my scale. But it's approaching the x-axis. So it's concave up to there, concave down, but it gets closer and closer and closer to the x-axis as we go along here. On this side, it just shoots right up, okay, because of the vertical asymptote. Now over here, it's decreasing and concave up, but we've got a vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote there, so the graph really has to look something like that. Not entirely sure how steep that's supposed to be, but it's going to look something like that. So uh, I regret that the scale is so tight there, but that gives you a really good sense of what that looks like.